Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome to this. We're being inspired from KZIY. I got inspired to create this actually from this scarf that I bought a couple of years ago. I bought it at Coles Rose, one of those places. But yeah, I just want to go for the Funkies version of this. For this, I'm going to be working with this Funkies and that is pretty old, as you can see. It used to be clear, just so you can imagine how much I've used it. I bought it online, I think. And it has some like leftover paint all over the place, but since we're going to be painting this anyways, I don't really mind. Just work with pretty much any Funkies that you can. But I'm going to be using this brown acrylic paint leftover that I had in this tiny container. Container, and I'm going to be using this vintage white and I'm just going to mix them it's going to be adding the smallest amount of yellow that I can mixing the whole thing again I have the scarf as like a guide but then I went online and I searched some images of like the pattern itself just feel free to stop whenever you want to as far as the colors go and then I'm just going to be painting the whole thing covering the back sides front of it pretty much everything and this is how I'm going to be letting it dry I'm going to be using this white acrylic paint and like these two brushes and I'm pretty much going to be adding two stripes of like white acrylic paint one on like towards the right of it and the other one like on the top of like the phone case this is just my choice I've seen some patterns that the stripe is on the left of the phone case and on the bottom like the other white one then I'm going to be using some red and black acrylic paint and a really tiny brush. I'm just going to be making a darker shade of red. And then with my tiny brush, I'm just going to add a line on like the bottom part of this and one on like the left part of the phone case. So it's pretty much the opposite of the white stripes. Place the red lines not over the white ones, if that makes any sense at all. That's what most like patterns seems to have. Just make those red lines as thick as you want them to be. Going back to the black acrylic paint again and my tiny brush and I'm going to add three lines on top of like the white thick line or stripe that I painted before. So these ones are supposed to be on the top of like the white lines as opposed to the red one. So then I'm going to be using this Sculpey gloss and uh, a brush and I'm going to cover the whole thing giving this two coats until it's like shiny. I prefer the sprayed gloss because you don't have like the strokes of like the brush on the phone case but I didn't have any of that. It doesn't really look that bad. I like doing this because it protects the sign. It makes it look a bit better, less hand painted I think. Uh, a bit more professional. Yeah, I like the shine it gives. To me, this sign is really cute, classic, it screams winter to me. I see a lot of scarves with this print on it. My niece uh, told me that she thought it was kind of bushy and she made me laugh, but she may be right. Hopefully it's not too bushy and hopefully it looks kind of cool. And just remember, this is hand painted. So the lines are never going to be like perfect as if you were to just glue some like tiny ribbons on top of the phone case. Maybe towards the end of this year, I'm going to try that technique just to see if it looks any better than just hand painted. But I like it. I think it's fun and it was so much fun to paint. So yeah, I really hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I upload weekly. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.